I cannot beat that feeling of just working out. God, you can't fake this. You can't fake the energy that I've got them in it. Well, if I can't kind of fake the energy that I have full stop. Um, so this morning, daily ramblings just came out of my workout. You can see heart rates coming down. And I thought I just wanted to share the power of working out with other people. Um, I appreciate it's physical distancing and all of that good stuff. And we're all working really hard to kind of keep our sanity during this and keep fit, keep on it and keep moving. I can't underestimate or tell you how much my zone has meant to me during not only lockdown, um, to stay connected with people, but also since I've really started to focus on my own kind of personal development in relation to how I use it. Yeah, let's just say using it to work out and stay connected and, and tracking in that respect is a is a given. But how I'm using it for my brain training, because look, my, my, I have a co the concentration span of a gnat. If something doesn't interest me, I tap out. I find it incredibly hard to stay focused. Um, and even in the times when I am focused on something and it really does interest me, I can get over super overexcited and almost get caught up in other things. So punchline, focusing is difficult. <sighs> Probably two years drip, dipping in and out, but now consistently I've been using um, the MyZone to support me during my brain training. So how I discovered it was, let me put this down, how I discovered it was through zone matches. So cardio is a real challenge for me, sitting still or standing still, being on a treadmill for, I don't know, even for 10 minutes was really incredibly difficult. So I started to do zone matches. What they make you do is they make you stay focused on concentrate in a specific zone. So I am ooh, zoned into that. I know this is probably no shit Sherlock stuff, but the impact it has had on my ability to learn and retain, I can't tell you. So you stay in the zones and I can now, it, at first it was difficult, you know, I would be like gunning for the next zone because you know what's coming or uh, thinking, how do I slow this down? I need to drop a zone. Well, you kind of can't be excited and drop a zone. You can't be uh, out of control of your thoughts or of your breathing if you want to drop a zone. In life, you can't be out of control of your thoughts or your feelings or your breathings if you want to maintain presence, uh, be in that moment. So I guess it all really aligns to what I've learned with my focus, control and discipline through my zone matches with my zone um, and my meditation and mindfulness working together has been it's been crazy. Uh, it's ongoing. It's every single day. It's relentless. But the power of it is, is really, I, I find it really difficult to understand, to be honest. I think anybody, I have ADAD, ADHD traits, the way it has totally helped me control that um, or understand it, not control it, has been immense. So focus, control, discipline through um, what's turned out to be is one of my favourite all-time training partners um, is my my zone belt. Couldn't be without it in relation to of staying connected with people across the globe. Uh, Punchline it is, it just makes people feel good about exercise. Uh, whoever's using it, once it's once it's in their hands, you will start to feel good about exercise. You'll feel part of a community if you're in groups and you can track and measure your performance either in a competitive or a non-competitive way. But the best kept secret about this that I'm sharing is the impact that it's had on my mindfulness, my focus, control and discipline and on making myself uh stronger faster fister, fitter both physically and mentally it's quite incredible i'm going to be rambling on a little bit more about these zone matches um but 
get yourself a training partner. Uh, get yourself working out today. And whew, don't underestimate the value of physical exercise, not just for getting the guns, but for building your brain. Have a great day.